Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Papa Varian, this is Crusader Kings 2, and we return here to Tibet, and I gotta be straightforward with you. First of all, this map is more cursed than anything else that we've done recently. Uh, second of all, I'm not that interested in, like, you know, actually doing that much in this playthrough, except letting the rock, uh, the clock run out, because we just are mega Tibet. You know, at some point, I think we might invade China, until then... Let's just keep everything calm, let's just keep everything under the wraps, and I think I will see you in like maybe about 100 years or something. I'm just gonna, I'm honestly just gonna let this play out, and we're gonna see where we end up. So expect a very short episode here, I will of course show you all the most important things that happen. Alright, check this out for example. So China did declare war on me for the Duchy of Jiuquan, and I thought to myself, you know what, it's actually good if they take it over, because if they take it over, and eventually I will go, you know, and declare a war against them, then I will have something to siege down. If they hold no land, we're looking at a situation where I can't actually gain positive war score via occupation. Meaning, I'm just gonna let them take it, but I will let the clock run out here, I want them to do it after 36 months have passed because only then will I be able to immediately get a normal peace deal with China until I'm ready. So I think this is a... I think this is the right choice here. So, I will now give up this fight. This is perfectly fine. I do think, by the way, that we could have won this. He only has 120k troops, we have 133 with, uh, you know, some mountain warfare. I think we could have w uh, done this, but it's pointless at the end of the big, uh, at the end of the day, because it just means nothing. You get 252 bucks from this. It's ridiculous. So, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to surrender and give him Geoquan. Good for you. Good for you, China. Not really worth it, I'll be honest with you, but eventually it will come for you. Now, for the moment, let's just make sure he hates Tibetan, uh, Tibeto-Burman cultures. That always sucks, but let's just sure that I, let's just make sure that I can go on and essentially, you know, my grandson, I'm so sorry, but you're 72 years old, you can go. And we're gonna make sure here that we get a peace deal, and with that peace deal, we are safe from any further invasion. I think I may actually have to give him money so that we even get enough. Oh no, there it is. Request a peace deal. We've done it. Very good. And now we aren't going to be attacked at any point in the next 50 years. I got some time to build up. And if I want to, I can invade at any point. I think that's really how this is supposed to be. Oh my god, this is really cool. The Mountain of Light. Gyalpo Yayashima III and his expedition have returned from their search and now stand before you. In an open box lies the largest diamond you have ever seen. It is known as the Mountain of Light, Yognia tells you, and it is a stone that has brought wealth, prestige and splendor to those that have owned it for centuries. Surely with this stone in your hand you will be the envy of every ruler alive. In truth, it is as magnificent as it is terrifying. You cannot help but recall the saying that all large gemstones are cursed. Looking up you realize Yayashima is and his companions are still here, waiting a reward for for the kingly prize they've brought you. I will pay you 53 bucks. Sure. Mountain of Light. Is that... I can't use it. It's not active. I am practicing a Western religion. Oh no, it's, that's just its color. Um, this diamond of unseen proportion has an origin shrouded in mystery. It has been a part of many royal treasuries, and it is claimed to be the cause of both the rise and sudden fall of entire dynasties. Health minus one. Stewardship up is nice. Same religion, opinion, okay. Monthly prestige and build time and build uh, cost. So this is clearly a cursed artifact, right? <laughs> Which is fine. I, I don't think the health actually negatively impacts me. I'm gonna keep this. The Mountain of Light. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Yes. Of course, why not? Tengrikut Ahagashu and the Mutilator, you can see it's 1272, and he has reformed the Tengri religion. I mean, I don't know where this is going to go. They could attack us, I think we could probably handle them, but I suppose that they will probably push deeper into Europe, and if they do, they may even become stronger than we are. Now, right now, of course, we have, uh, you know, a higher number of total troops. We are pretty decent when it comes to technology, as you can see, although I am pushing more and more for that, and I keep forgetting. Well, not necessarily forgetting, but the game keeps unassigning my marshals, so that, of course, sucks. But the way I see this, it's pretty, it's, it's going pretty all right. You know what? I'm plundering right here and there. Let's see what they do with the Tengri Great Holy Wars. I am very, very confused. I just hope that they don't go against me. That's my dream. <laughs> well... What do you look at that map? A lot has changed, it's the year 1333, and I think after this episode, so the one tomorrow, will be the last one, we should then finally be done. Honestly, there's just not that much interesting stuff going on. I, for the life of me, cannot get my vassals to actually give me the realm peace achievement, but that's okay. I always end their wars before anything actually good happens. You know, the stuff, for example, where six of them were at war, and I ended that. That does just doesn't happen. Well, until now, China was unstable. They were in two civil wars, and now they are finally stable again. And honestly, I think it's time. I think it is time that we go and invade the Chinese Empire. Let me just take a look here. Maybe we want to have melee technique. 
The chance of flank leaders choosing better melee tactics increases. Ooh, fang. Oh, definitely. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Um, why don't we go with invasion here? Uh, who would I like to put on the throne? Honestly, I'm not that dedicated to any of these people, but I guess my daughter, she's 20 years old. She's a very good intricate web weaver, but she is my aunt. What you need to know is there was a secret club, a secret club of uh, Hindus. I don't even know how it happened. Let's just declare this war here for the moment. I don't even know how it happened, but there was a secret club of Hindu that, like, a bunch of my provinces turned now? I'm, I don't know, I can't explain this really, but what I can tell you is that I'm rich, and I also can tell you that I'm powerful now. How powerful are you? 181k. I think we got this. Protector General Yu Yanwei, I will push off your dynasty, the Chang Empire. You can see the Mongols have been ousted in that civil war. We will push him off of his throne. I will put my daughter, if I misremember, if I remember that correctly, I will put my daughter on the throne. Let's make it happen. And yeah, let's gather right here in Ling Tsang, I think. That's a good province. 36k. Nobody's better, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's do it over there. I'm going to assemble the troops. I'm going to make sure there's as little attrition as possible. Just give me a moment here. I will show you the rest of this in just a second. Oh, and would you look at that? Here they come. They already are coming for us, and they're already trying to get rid of us. Now, we have good commanders uh, at this point. You know, I'm going to make you lead the center. That sounds all right. Then we're going to pick up you. You have a wonderful, wonderful moral damage trait right over here. That's quite nice. That's quite decent. You know what? I think we're going to win this. I think we're going to win this battle, and I think we're going to win this war. No, I'm going to make sure that the person here, this guy, this... <laughs> Uh, this son of a gun uh, is going to go ahead and he is our excellent, excellent, what's it called? Way of the Tiger fella here. Movement speed plus 30%. Absolutely beautiful. And he's going to go in as soon as we can. Now, the, the name of the game here is we need to outplay them when it comes to actually fighting them, you know, and then we need to siege their stuff down. This is why I gave them this stuff, so that I would actually have to siege something during this war, because you can only get minus 50% or plus 50% from occupation and battles respectively, meaning we're going to be looking at a... Uh, Roughly, you know, going halfway on this, and I think I need to reinforce from all sides here. With everybody hopefully already starting to walk. Yeah, there's gonna be a close fight, I gotta tell you straight up. There's a lot of people coming here. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be quite tough, but I think we will be there in time. Let me just check. When are you going to be here? Still some time to go, huh? Okay, and now I'm gonna change him out so that he doesn't actually enter the fight. I'm gonna throw you in right here. I know that we can't currently um, watch this fight, but that's okay. You are marching from down there. Okay, acceptable. I just need to make sure that our reinforcements arrive as you... Oh, this is so lucky. What is this? Western Protectorate against Qinghai? Oh, they raised their troops. I don't know why they did it, but this really aids us because this keeps them from actually coming into this fight. And now they're coming in full force. You can see right now they are coming, no doubt, in full force. I think they might even be coming with these, but they're definitely coming with all of these, so we need to be prepared here. I don't want to give them a single millimeter of land, I'll be honest with you. That's really where we are here. Yeah, look at that. They're still coming. They're all coming. Yeah, yeah, This is a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Going to be a dangerous one, but I think we actually got it. And now I'm going to exchange you out yet again. So what I'm doing is, I'm essentially just microing where the guy is that walks fast. Because, of course, he needs to be there at, you know, the first moment that he can. And that is, I think, quite uh, important. There you go. That's what I want to see. Now, there's going to be a lot of attrition there. Don't get me wrong here. But I think we're doing this splendidly. Oh, they're coming with more people. Yeah, we need to push in. We need to push in as much as we can. There's 63,000 coming. So any attrition that we might take, that's okay. I think we can deal with it. And there they come. 40k additionally in now. This is such a such a weird way to fight in this game. But we are doing it. And as you can see, I'm, I might even be able to like... I think you can just stand here. You Oh, nope. I can see 20 more k coming. Yeah, this is a huge fight. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to reinforce that, no doubt. Okay, well, what are you doing? You're almost there. It defeat? Oh, okay. It was not that one. Okay. And I'm going to put you on there, and there you go. Yeah, they're still coming in, but we are... I think we've out-rotated out them here. I think that's essentially what we're looking at. They will never win this. Oh, would you look at that. And they're still coming. Okay, beautiful. Um, I'm going to move a bunch of you out of here. Yeah, there's another fight that was... Uh, very clear that that's uh, that this would be happening and there you go we have won twice very very significantly won right there they're down to 100k we're looking at 175k i think this is a very clear victory excellent oh my god those battles that rotating in and out it's ridiculous don't get me wrong here that's not how this usually goes but i am happy that it worked out i think i'm going to be so cocky i'm just going to i'm just going to walk up all the way all the way to there yeah sure um why don't we push up with all of you. That's not a good choice. Man, these provinces are garbage. 
They're so bad. Okay, now we choose the next battle here, I think. We are going to choose the next battle. And it's going to be this one. I'm going to move in with half of you, roughly. You're going to move over there. And you're going to get the... Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Okay, so watch this. We're going to move in, but this time we are going to move into the desert. And we are going to move by our very free choice. Because they are completely, uh, you know, undeploying their troops, I should say. Why don't you just resign? There you go. Why don't you actually get the speed man? Right, that's a very clear victory. Very, very nice. That's what I love to see. Gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, would you look at that? We've now pushed in, but we've made it so that they have a river crossing. We've made it so that we have our army surrounding them, and I think now is the time that we actually push in. Yeah, this is, this is going well. This is excellent. This is going to be a very costly fight, but after that we are able to just siege them down, take them out, and I think that's the dream. Ultimately, I mean, that's really what everybody's eyeing for, right? Where's the bear? Is the bear still available? Did I just command him into the army? No, I didn't. Okay, beautiful. Put the bear in, boys. Put the damn bear in. There you go. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. We've annihilated them. I mean, we have thoroughly annihilated them. And now it's really just a question of us uh, sieging down their land, taking it all down, and then ending this beautiful, beautiful war. Yep, this is going to be it. This is gorgeous. I am so damn happy. You can siege this down. I'm going to send 26k over there. How many, how many can I have here? 8k? Are you kidding me? You can go there, sure. Not the best area, I will admit, but we'll get this done. We'll siege it down. It'll be over in no time whatsoever. What an absolute dream come true. And they come in with even more troops. Oh, what are you doing, my friends? You're not having a good time. Did you think this will work out for you? Because it most, most certainly did not work out for you, but that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are actually in the right. It's tough to say these days, eh? Alright, look at this. It's over. And I'll be honest with you. You know who's the winner? You know who really carried us in this one? It's the bear. Without the bear organizer, because he was the only, like, excellent organizer that we actually possessed, without Sohanpal, we would not be in this amazing position of having absolutely pummeled the Chinese Empire. Down he goes. Senpo Kunturi of Tibet has won. The forces of Senpo Kunturi, the youth, will have prevailed. With the troops of Protector General Yu Yanwei shattered and the conflict in the Middle Kingdom finally over, the former Emperor Shang Wan Zongchen has been dethroned, and in his place, Kung, uh, Kun Gangpa, Emperor Liuzu of the Yan Empire, now rules. House Kun has successfully invaded the Eastern Lands, and now they reign supreme. Glory to the new empire. When you look at that, Kun Liuzu, good for you. And they, yeah, they lose all of their traits. So my fear was, and this is now true, had I sent. Senpo Kunturi, the youthful, he would have lost his mortality trait and practically immediately died. Without this, we are now in a good position and everything is fine because this guy is just a normal emperor and you know what? <laughs> if I shatter you, right? That doesn't actually mean that much. If I shatter the Mongols, actually, it would mean quite a bit for balancing, but maybe I should just shatter the Holy Roman Empire. Oh god, you know what? I don't want I don't want to see that Jerusalem in freestyle, so you know what? I think we're just gonna shatter the goddamn Mongols. That is what we should use these points for. Oh, you're not the Mongols. We're just going to shatter the Mongols. We could do, our, uh, do it ourselves, of course, but this releases a lot of the map, and I think that is a healthy approach to this entire endeavor. There you go. Uh, you know what? I might as well assist you. I, I, can, I can help, I guess. I don't know. Let's do this. Easy. But that, I think, is something probably for the next episode. Let's see how this goes. I don't even know whether this will be successful against Tengri, uh, Tengrigu Chilgatai, but China is ours. We now have a Tibetan Bhutpa Buddhist person on the throne. With the blood of the immortal, everything is gorgeous. Alright, and with China defeated, all that remains in this playthrough is bringing it to the end and making sure that I actually get this piece in our time achievement. It has been a damned, damned pain so far, but, you know, I also, of course, still want to thank the members of the channel that are making videos such as this one possible, namely the Barons Aaron, Stefan, the Richest T, Snywolf, Emma Mello, Thomas, Mitchell, MFV, Florian, Dan, the Murcielago, Jacob, Rex Romanorum, Falling Phoenix, and Taterna, then, of course, also the Count Shifty, Wombat, Kazan, and Lachlan, and last but not least, the absolutely beautiful Duke, Suspicious Duck, Nathan, Jack, Kenneth, X, Alexo, Eric, and Aiden. Pardon me, I'm a bit worn out from this long recording session. I will see all of you later, alligator.